Assalamu alaikum. Uh, how are you guys? Uh, welcome to the lesson number four for the mathematics of grade three. And uh, this is the lesson number four. We are going to start right now. Today we are going to study uh, the topic missing numbers. So you can see here on the screen it's missing numbers and it's on page number six and seven. And we are going to start from page number uh, seven. Uh, before starting uh, this page, uh, I want to tell you about Abacus uh, because you can see this diagram. I will show you the diagram. This one. This diagram is known as Abacus. Okay. Why to use Abacus? Abacus is used to show a number and to calculate a number. Right. Uh, so we will use this. Uh, uh, we will check this abacus and we will check how many hundreds are there how many tens are there and how many ones are there to uh, write their numbers what is it, uh, what abacus is representing we have to identify that numbers right so let's start with the question number one before been a, without wasting time and the saying the number of beads in each tower of the abacus tells you how many the number of beads, these beads we are talking about, the number of beads in each tower of the abacus tells you how many hundreds are there, how many tens are there, and how many ones are there in each number. Write a list of the numbers shown. So we have to write the number. So I will check here on the first. This is hundred for H. H is representing here hundred. Okay. Hundred. I'm writing on the H. You have. T is representing here tens. that in writing with the mouse and this is once all right once just to make you understand what these are representing this is showing hundred this is showing tens and this is showing once now I'm raising them so that you can understand it so we have to count the number of beats in uh, this Abacus, there is only one bead, so I will write one here and count. I will count beads here one, two, and three. So I will write three here and there is one bead, so it will become 131. Okay, so in same way, we have to complete all the uh, we have to fill all the numbers. All the abacus, we have to check the shapes and we have to write the numbers. How many hundreds are there? One, two, and three. So I will write three here. How many tens are there? One and two. So I will write two here. And how many? ones are there one two three and four so i will like for you same uh, i will check this one there are one two three four five hundreds and there are one two three tens and there are two ones so i like 532 so in this way we are working look this fourth abacus there are 200 so i like two one two three four four tens and one two three three ones so i will write here three there are uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 ones and 1, 2, 3, 4. I need to change the color. Is it, it, it is green, so I will take green for you. 2, 4, and this is 3, and 1, 2, 3, 4. This is, these are 4 tens, and these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. So I will write here 5. This work you have to complete in your book. Okay, remember this work you have to complete in your book. Push from question number two, we will start uh, working in notebook. So I will check here how many hundreds one, two, three, four, five. There are five hundreds, so I will write here five, two, for tens, I will write two here, and one, two, three, four. There are four ones. Um, remember this uh, top missing numbers topic is based on the previous topic what we studied hundred, tens, and ones, right. So that's why they are asking you have abacus. Uh, so in case uh, uh, whenever we have abacus, uh, we should know how to uh, write a number from abacus. Okay. So this is all we done. Now we have second uh, question. Put the numbers in order from the smallest to largest, and that work we have completed in the uh, word file. Okay. So this is. Uh, you have to take out first your notebook and uh, write the date of today's uh, 2 September 2020. It, it is Wednesday, page number 7. 
we are doing page number uh, we are doing topic missing numbers and the question number two is put the following numbers in order from smallest to largest i'm highlighting highlighting it this is saying smallest to largest that means we have to arrange them from a smallest number then smaller to larger 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 and in the end you will write largest so to compare any number what we look at the first we look at all the numbers that are all the numbers are having same places or different places so all the numbers are three that means they all are having uh, uh, places up to 100 right so i will check their 100 uh, numbers only the, num the numbers who are that are places on hundreds like one here three here five here two here six and here five i will check the smallest number uh, among all these in the hundred places so one i think is the smallest one one three five two six five so one is the smallest one so i don't need to think more about it because there is only 100 uh, only one value of 100 so i will write 131 first okay then i will check uh, this 131 uh, we have finished so i will make it highlight then i will check here after one uh, one we finished three then five and two six five so there is only one number with 200 so that's mean i will i'm gonna write this so it's 243 now after this if you see uh we have 300 500 600 and 500 so obviously we are going to write three after two because we are writing the smallest to largest and then we have now we are confused because we have two values uh, two hundreds of five 532 and 524 so guys whenever hundreds are same in the position so you go to check the tens position which is uh, which ten uh, value is smaller or which ten value is smaller this is three and this is two so two is less than three that's why i will go for 524 after this i will write 524 then of course 532 because 500 is less than 600 and in the last 645 so here you can find the answer i hope uh, you got it now uh, for 521 um, for the part b you should uh, be able to arrange this uh, number uh, from arrange these numbers from the smallest to largest 5 among 5 8 1 6 1 and 4 1 is the smallest number but 1 is having two values here 100 is having two values here the first is 112 and then second is 131 when i check the tens position because hundreds are same so on the tens position this is 1 and this is 3 so guys i have a question uh, 3 is less than 1 or 1 is less than 3 so you will say 1 is less than 3 uh, that's why i will go for 112 I will write 112. Obviously, there are two values. That's why I will now I will not think about uh, uh, about I will not think to write 131 because there is only one value left after 112. After 131, I will check here uh, 5, 8, 6, and 5. F 5 is also having two values: 504 and 521. When you check the tens position, it is 2 and it is 0. So 0 is less than 2. So I will go for 504 first, then I will write 521 and uh, after this you can see that 200s are uh, left 6 and 8. So 6 is less than 8, 652 I will write first, then 876. So we all up to, uh, finish up to here. I will also share the classwork, uh, this classwork uh, with you uh, on the word file on class era. So you can find this attachment there and if you have any questions you can ask me on plus era you can ask me on whatsapp anywhere you want to watch or you want to ask us okay i will be happy to reply you thanks for watching this video take care bye bye